what I'm doing is cleaning the contacts by pressing down on it really hard like this. Welcome back to Garage Matters. If you ever experience a power window that doesn't want to roll down or roll back up, give me a couple minutes of your time and I'll show you how to get out of that bind. Sometimes it's as easy as making sure that the window unlock button is unlocked. Once it's unlocked, the rear windows and passenger windows should roll down from the driver's side right here. But if you're in the bind and on the road, come on over here and let me show you the quick fix. Now let's take a look at the driver's side window controls right here. Driver's side window rolls down just fine. Window lock is unlocked. Passenger window doesn't roll down. Quick fix is go ahead and just smash on this window lock up and down, press it down like that. What I'm doing is cleaning the contacts by pressing down on it really hard like this. We'll go ahead and give the passenger window a try, see if it works now. Passenger window rolls down, rolls right back up. So sometimes if the passenger window doesn't work, the quick fix is just go ahead and jam this unlock button up and down really quick. Now if you want a better fix for these windows control right here, we'll have to pull out this control panel and clean the contacts in here. All you gotta do is use a trim tool and pop it out. Once it's popped out, disconnect the harness. Now we're going to take this control panel, take it to the workbench, clean these contacts in here. Now these are the tools I'm going to use. I'm going to use this contact cleaner to clean the contacts in here. First thing we need to do is unscrew these screws right here to separate the housing from the electrical connectors. Once those three screws are removed, you're just going to go ahead and separate these two. Next thing we need to do is separate this plastic piece right here. I'm just going to take this little flathead screwdriver right here, pry up in between here to separate it. Now once you got separated, you want to remove the circuit board from this black housing right here. The easiest way to do it is remove this button right here. All you gotta do is just pull it up and it'll come right off. Now back behind here is the circuit board, but there's a plastic button piece right here. You're just gonna take a screwdriver, kind of slightly push down on it to push the circuit board on out. But before you push it out, you wanna keep this orientation right here and I'll show you why. Now right before you pull the circuit board out, you want to make sure you do it really slow so nothing falls out. Once it's separated, this is what it's going to look like. Now inside of here, you have these rocker switches right here. You want to make sure you take note of how they're oriented so just in case they fall out, you'll know where they go. This is for the door locks. When you're locking the doors, these contacts right here, they're making contact with these two contacts right here to lock and unlock the door. But you want to be careful because these little connectors, contacts right here, they fall out easily. Now these contacts right here, some people like using isopropyl alcohol to clean them with cotton swabs. But for me, I'm just going to use this quick drying contact cleaner. This thing's pressurized and this should knock out all the dust that's in here and clean these contacts.
Now once we're done spraying down the circuit board, I'm just gonna actuate the window unlock button right here. A couple times like this. Kind of clean it. And then I'm gonna tilt it to the side and let it dry. We're gonna let it dry for about 10-15 minutes and then reinstall everything back onto the truck. Now we're ready to go ahead and reinstall. Reinstall is just gonna be reverse order. We're gonna leave this facing down like this so none of these contacts falls out. Flip this over and just slide it right back on. Now with this control panel put back together and cleaned, we'll go ahead and reconnect this harness and do the checks on it. We'll do the driver's side window. Then we'll do the passenger window over here. We'll try the window lock right here. I'm gonna press it down, see if it works. Depress it again, roll the window back up. And then we'll try the back windows, make sure the back windows work as well. Now after cleaning this control panel, all these windows work again and it should be fine for a couple more years. There is another better option which is to go ahead and replace this whole control panel. I haven't looked up the prices but my guess is it's probably going to be around 100 bucks. Now cleaning these window switches is not specific for this Nissan Frontier. It's going to be a very similar process for most makes and models. Hopefully this video helped you guys as far as getting these windows to roll down and back up. And that's going to do it this week for Garage Matters. And remember, join us next time on Garage Matters and hit that like and subscribe button.